I'd like to demonstrate uh, a technique uh, for making a wet mount using a precise uh, amount of fluid. Now, the fluid that I'm going to use here is, well, th this is a bacterial culture. Um, uh, it's E. coli, and I can tell by looking at it that there are quite a few bacteria in there because it looks a little bit cloudy. Um, I'm going to uh, use a pipetter here that will dispense uh, five microliters of that um, culture. And I'm using the five microliters in order for us to be able to make a wet mount uh, using this cover slip uh, to, to, to mount um, the five microliters. And the way I'm going to do this is I'll, I'll just demonstrate right now. So I'm going to take one of these tips here, and uh, I'm going to take my culture and using a flame over here, uh, remove the cap, uh, trying to be aseptic here. Remove five microliters. Um, take my cover slip. Uh, I will dispense five microliters to the center of that cover slip. I do it this way on the cover slip for a very special reason. When I mount this, this drop will just stay there. When I mount this on the glass slide, I would like uh, an air bubble to form. And this is actually the best way that I know to, 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 to get an air bubble. doesn't always work, but um, uh, it might work uh, most of the time. So I prefer to start with a, with a drop on the cover slip. And then I'd like to mention at this point that by cleaning the glass slide the way I did, uh, that will almost ensure that any drop of uh, fluid like this will spread evenly uh, underneath the cover slip, and we want that drop to spread just to the very edge of the cover slip, not beyond. And five microliters is the right amount. So let's um, just lower that cover slip and then drop it. And by dropping it, this is the desired result. A nice bubble in the middle and the drop has spread completely from edge to edge. Anyway, at this point, we do have a, 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 a good wet mount. So then what I'm going to do is now mount it on the microscope. Uh, this is where we um, complete uh, the construction of our microscope. Let me put a, a nice specimen there. Now I can position it so that I can actually see a reflection of light off the edge of the air bubble. And when I see that little reflection of light coming from underneath, the light underneath on the air bubble, then I can rotate the 40x lens into position and very quickly focus right on the edge of that air bubble. And the edge of the air bubble is exactly where the specimen is. The, the air bubble is in the specimen plane. The biggest problem that most students have is they have no idea where to focus, and that's really the, the fastest way to get it into focus. Uh, I've just checked that the curler illumination is proper, and it is, and so from here on in, we just have happy microscope time. That's it.